This is part of the video series on inequalities for competitive math. So we have ABC positive real numbers. Add up to 1, we want to prove this inequality. Now, please do check out a topic on the special form for cauchy schwarz inequality when we have fractions. So here we're going to use this result. Do check out a previous video on that. So here notice that n is 3 here in our case because we have 3 terms. So that would be 9 over the sum of the denominator. Here we go. This is going to be greater or equal to 9, that's n squared, n equal to 3. And then when you add everything up, and a, b, c add up to 1, so that is over here. So what about a, b, b, c, and c, a? Now here, you notice that a plus b plus c equal to 1, you square it. You're going to have this term here. And notice that for the a, m, g, m inequality, you have this results. When you add them up, you're going to have two of that greater or equal to two of this cross product here. All right? So this is a very common inequality here with three variables. So you divide by two, and then you know that AB plus BC plus CA is going to be less or equal to the sum of squares. Okay, here we go. That's the result we have. Now, for the equality here and the inequality, what you do is you add two AB, BC, and CA on both sides of the inequality. What you get here on the left-hand side is going to be 1 greater or equal to 3 of the cross product here, right? So that what do we have. So recap, this is what do we have here. Now plug in this value here. This is less than, and this is the denominator it becomes greater or equal to. So what you get is this final result. Okay, that's the proof. So we start with the cauchy schwarz inequality for fractions, and then we use AMGM inequality to figure out AB plus BC plus CA. Now there's another method, which I post this question on one of the weekend challenges, and one subscriber I think his name is Jose. I hope I pronounce it right. Now he pointed out that uh, you can take advantage of the fact that a plus b plus c equal to 1. So this expression here, a becomes a times 1. All right. So if you express it out, what you get is, is this cross product here. Okay. Now, of course, by the symmetric structure of it, you can apply the same logic here. And then what you do is you have a common denominator here for three terms, it's a product of three terms. And this would, in the fraction, this would have b plus c. Here we have c plus a. This would be a plus b. When you add everything up, the numerator is going to be twice of a plus b plus c. Of course, a plus b plus c equal to 1. So here you get 2 here, numerator, and here is the denominator. If you have x, y, z, okay, this is the results from the AMGM inequality here, right? For three, three variables, x, y, z are positive, of course. Now here we plug in here, x, y, z here. So let's go. And of course, x plus y plus z would be the sum of these three terms. That would be 2 of a plus b plus c, that is 2. 2 to the third power would be 8. So you, you plug in the whole thing here, and then you get 2 over 8 over 27. Finally, it cancels as 27 over 4. All right, that's another proof. So in summary, we have used two different methods to prove this inequality. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.